We're going to convert terminating decimals into fractions without the use of a calculator. Now, if you're not sure what a terminating decimal is, it's simply a decimal that comes to an end or stops or terminates, which is why it's called a terminating decimal. So if we go ahead and take a look at the first one, we have 12 and 58 hundredths. The number that's in front of the decimal point is just going to be the number that stays out front in our mixed number when we're converting this. But then you have to be very careful with knowing your place values. The first number that's behind the decimal point is your tenths place. So the five is currently in the tenths place. However, we have two numbers behind the decimal point, which means we're now in the hundreds place. So when we're making our mixed number, this is gonna be a 12 out front. We're gonna put a 58 in our numerator and our denominator is going to be a hundred because we have two numbers behind the decimal point and we're ending or terminating at the hundreds place. But we can simplify this a little bit 58 and 100 are both divisible by two. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit by dividing the top and bottom by two. And we end up getting 12 and 29 fiftieths for our fraction in simplest form for the first one, 12 and 29 fiftieths. And now let's go ahead and take a look at number two. We have a negative eight that's gonna go out front, but now we have three numbers behind the decimal point. So we're not in the tens place, we're not in the hundreds place, but we are now in a thousands place. So this is gonna be 164 in our numerator over 1,000 this time. And once again, we can simplify it a little bit. 164 and 1,000 are both divisible by four. So 164 divided by four is going to end up giving us 41 in our numerator over 250 for our final answer in simplified form. Hope the video helps you guys out in converting terminating decimals into fractions.